Welcome to episode 4 of 5 Minutes Serverless First. This episode is going to be in continuation with episode 3, where we looked at a serverless reference application called Fresh Tracks. In episode 3, we went through the architecture of this application and we talked about how it meets the tenets that we've been talking about as part of this video series. Things like the combination of functions as a service and also backend as a service. In this episode, we're going to pick up from where we left off in episode three. We're going to go over to the Azure portal, look at the various services that made up this application. So let me go ahead and bring up a browser instance here. And I have a number of tabs open just to save us some time. I wanted to start out with a link to the video. Uh, this is the link to the AWS serverless event that I talked about where they unveiled this fresh tracks application. I'll make this link available and I think it will be useful for you to watch this if you get a chance. The next link here is the GitHub repository to the AWS implementation of fresh tracks. And then the next link, of course, is the myfreshtracks.com application where you can run the AWS version of the application directly by visiting this URL. If I go over to the next tab here, we've created an Azure version of the Fresh Tracks application here. And I'll be pointing out some of the services that went into creating this application, but you can go ahead and take a look at the entire code base here. And then finally, uh, here is the hosted version uh, of the Fresh Tracks application. And I can come in here. I've logged in with the Google provider. Once again, I'm using Auth0 under the covers. So I've logged in with my Google identity. I can come in and I can add a new GPX file. So let me go ahead and find a GPX file. Let me go ahead and drag and drop that. At this point, the file is getting uploaded into Azure storage account. It's getting processed using the durable function. And then we will be notified once the processing of this file is complete in a moment here. So as soon as the file is, is processing is complete, we would be able to uh, go look at all of the properties that were saved inside uh, Cosmos DB. So it looks like our file is processed. If I go in here and now I can look at all of the details associated with the GPX file that I just uploaded. So relatively simple application. But now let's go over to the Azure portal and take a look at the various services, Azure services that went into creating this application. So once again, I'll start out with, uh, so I have a app inside dashboard, which we'll be talking about in a moment. The static web app, uh, this is what is hosting our web application that you just saw a moment ago. Then we have the API management service. Let's just go ahead and click on that. If you look at the API management service here, the important thing to note here is that the pricing tier is the consumption tier. So we are only paying for the number of invocations of our method from the client here. And I can come in here if I wanted to take a look at all of the APIs, I can come in and take a look. So here I have all of the backend APIs listed here. And then once again, here I can apply all of the API management policies. Let's just go back over to the Azure portal resource group here. And then of course, here's the function app. And here are the, all the functions. And I'm interested in showing you this orchestration function, which I talked about earlier. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code here. This is the equivalent of the AWS Def function here. We're using durable function here, as you can see on line number 12. And if you go further down here, after wiring up application insights here, we are processing the GPX file, storing the metadata into Cosmos DB, and then publishing an event using SignalR service to notify the client that the processing has been completed. So here you have the Cosmos DB where we store all of the metadata. And what is interesting once again is that we are using the serverless version of Cosmos DB. Once again, not reserving capacity ahead of time, only paying for what we can use. And this has been the theme for this entire uh, presentation. So this brings us to the end of this video. I promised to you uh, earlier that I was going to uh, quickly show you all of the links. 
And these are all the various links. Of course, you can find all of the episodes of serverless at aiscom.serverless. Uh, this is the link to the Azure version of Fresh Tracks. This is the link to the AWS version of Fresh Tracks. Uh, this is where the AWS version of Fresh Tracks is hosted. And this is the link to the video of the AWS event where they talked about the Fresh Tracks application. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.